New test of the Epson Zeno flash with the last firmware. So, as you probably already know, there was a major firmware upgrade some days ago, and one uh, was about concerning the radio transmitter. And the way to flash uh, the radio transmitter firmware was a little bit, um, I would say, not annoying, but particular in the sense that you had to uh, charge two uh, pins of the uh, front uh, port dedicated here you have a six pin port there and you have to charge the two uh, most on the left side and according to the uh, dedicated tutorial video you have to use for example a metallic tweezer to uh, succeed and in my point of view is absolutely a bad idea to follow exactly the absent tutorial please prefer a micro jumper or if you don't have you can use a gstxh 1.5 mm uh, connector a two pin one then you will have to uh, solder the two black and red wire in order to make a loop and it will be used as a jumper thanks to this type of uh, jumper connector it's much more safer to uh, uh, upgrade the uh, radio transmitter so now everything is flashed with the last update and it's announced at least in the log txt file that they improve the loss of altitude especially after a fast forward u-turn for example i observed in my last video of course i will check that fact and there's also a new um i would say uh, wi-fi uh, channel procedure scanner uh, which uh, probably will give you some information about uh, the uh, noise level in different 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi channels. So, of course, choose the channel compatible with your devices, uh, offering the less uh, noise in the uh, band. So, uh, let's start everything. Of course, I will perform locally right now the compass calibration to be sure that I will be in a more safer situation today is extremely sunny almost wind free and we will see for example if they also improve the gps holder stabilization one of the drawbacks of this machine not absolutely not among the best um, uh, machine for this uh, operation let's start okay so um already bound the machine i will pray from the uh, GPS accuracy test and uh, the GPS accuracy is good um, Let's check. I will make a tour of all the different firmware installed as you can see the flight controller is with the 1.1.48 the internal uh, firmware uh, about the FPV 0.3.5 and uh, For the controller you can see that it's flashed with the 0.1.6 and uh, you have a new option that print now you can select for example the speed of the pitching for the gimbal that's great and you uh, can see that i've got the as well uh the last firmware of the gimbal and now you can also calibrate the uh, gimbal that's great for the built-in emu of the gimbal so uh immediately i will perform uh, sorry the compass calibration uh so i will rotate clockwise of the uh, xeno Okay. Take a couple of seconds. About three, four tours is enough, and then nose down as well. Clockwise, the gimbal enter into a protecting mode, and a three, four tour is enough to uh, calibrate. Then it's okay. You have the uh, gimbal protection. Okay, I will deploy the. Uh, props and we are ready to go so I will check my default uh, video settings in 2.7 key okay I can shoot also in 4k 30 frames per second but we have new settings available if I'm not wrong uh, yes the sharpness is a new option so uh, coming with the last firmware so we can adjust these settings uh, between 0 to 6 uh, in the middle so maybe it's a way to improve the compression ratio especially for background object uh, as I mentioned last time uh, lacking of details so 
we are ready to go i will keep the default one um and we press the recording it's done and arm by pushing lower outer the sticks and we are ready to go let's take off okay let's see immediately i don't touch anything so we will see the stability wow still deviating a bit in the altitude uh, some oscillation in both altitude and a little bit in x and y uh, setting but i don't think there is a huge improvement i will make a tour so uh, they a little bit adjusted the i will say the smoothing the rc input okay it's done so let's go for the fast for one and uh, left u-turn test oh it's losing altitude it's losing altitude and yes it's losing altitude i have to climb a bit okay oh it's better remember last time fast forward i turn fast and i was losing altitude is no more the case well maybe a slight improvement okay but as soon as i'll uh, left away the throttle the forward sticks the machine gained some altitude let's make another try okay fast forward yes a little bit better fast you turn yes i leave the 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 stick and it gained some altitude so <laughs> in fact you are no more losing altitude but it seemed that uh, you gain some altitude so I would say in between the two scenarios scenarios I prefer the second one now as they choose now okay so let's try a little bit I wanted to show you a little bit the Wi-Fi scanning procedure I forgot to mention so is the uh, is should be in the general settings uh, where is that exactly in the first one okay i can remember where it was exactly map mode should be here parametric unique blah 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 it, ah, maybe it's only available when you're you are not not take off but uh, here i don't think i have a lot of a lot of um, problem right now so I put I would take some altitude and we perform some some let distance flying fast forward so as I checked last time um, the behavior when you are lost a, a signal is to um, engage a uh, return to home keeping the altitude you got when you were above 30 meters okay so i'm about 100 meters high so i think i will improve a little bit the the uh, propagation the oh, so dear still so dear the craft 400 meters okay what would be great is to check that in terms of um, antennas i'm line okay to favorite 600 meters last time i met some difficulties here seven hundred meters the signal is degraded i will try to pinch a bit the gimbal yes still have some control 800 meters so not so bad yes signal is okay i can probably try to i don't see anymore the machine 800 meters ok 
okay I'm and as I said previously I don't think I will be able to go beyond one kilometers and it will stop as you can see oh no I can go further yes but the machine stopped look at that oh no more video signal aircraft disconnected okay so the one kilometers are limited here maybe I can no so what I will do I will press uh, the uh, return to home um, where is the return to home button okay not connected so it should engage yes automatically if I lost the signal oh I've got the signal here craft disconnected you know what I don't like in this um, radio transmitter is in the okay now I'm able to to engage a return to home not connected mm -hmm. so it should return to me automatically you should if not not connected so why is not returning Okay, I will press here the return to home button. Nothing happened. connected at all so I don't know what to do I press the return to home button nothing happened yes okay it seems to be engaged I will see what happened I'm a little bit worried that I, I lost uh, the uh, not connected. I don't see anything the machine. I don't know where is the machine. Ah, oh, I've got something. yes I will take off okay I retrieve the signal I will press the return to home so close to I hope he sends the signal yes I think he engaged the return to home so yes so one kilometer 50 yes and the distance is decreasing now I retrieve the signal wow little bit higher than one kilometer so finally the uh, one kilometer of distance is not geofenced but this is a hard limit Ooh, but few minutes of a uh, little bit uh, fear that I was not able to engage the return to home because I lost the signal in both the FPV it seems that uh, their transmitter and I don't know why it didn't engage automatically the uh, return to home 600 meters so it should be not so far right now 
cannot pitch in during the years I can pitch so oh yes I see it I start to see it yeah yes improve the pinching speed by default and it's much 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 better ah, I see it from forward 45 10 minutes no it's okay You know, I will cancel the um, the um, the return to home. Yes, I should to cancel. Yes, okay. So I cancel it. Now I've got the video signal. Battery already low. Oh my god. Can see that? 300 meters. Okay. You know, I will press one more time to the uh, takeoff location. I will press OK. And I will return. I can see it clearly because. The white spot is clear. Got some birds flying around. It would just take a couple of uh, seconds to uh, go down. Uh, we will see the accuracy of the uh, landing. Okay, it will engage the uh, decent decent rate. Uh, no information about the the. the the uh, vertical speed but according to the value I'm reading it should be about one meter per second according to the altitude I'm reading can we yes we can a little bit uh, move the machine during the uh, the descent And let's check the accuracy of the... Uh, oh. Uh -huh. So, I take up just from the... Uh, Wow! Not bad at all! I took off uh, exactly here. So, one meter. Well, not so bad. So, I will stop recording here. Ooh, I hope I will have enough battery to engage a little bit more sophisticated um, flight mode. I want to try in orbit mode. Please take off and maybe make a tour around the. Um, so I want to like to see. Oh, why the map is not display? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I downloaded offline. I don't know why. It's like this. Whatever. So I will resume the 
flight. Okay, and I will try to to make an orbit mode. So I think it's uh, versus uh, the older. So let me check that. Where I am should be not so far. Okay. Okay. Let's try an orbit mode. Okay, set the transmitter the location of the point of interest or see the aircraft at the point of interest. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can also, for example, over around the point of interest. That could be a nice thing if I went, for example, to turn around the, the trees. I would check that. And I would choose the second option. Let's say like this. Okay, go down and set the second next. And I will make current radius. I want to, of course, how to increase the radius. Oh, you have to. to okay. Okay. And let's say that I will do something about something smaller than 20 meters 15 meters okay let's execute right and okay and it should turn around the trees I hope so more or less yes can I increase the speed the oh, battery is low yes I will try to increase the speed Right now, yes, it's simp. Ah, look at that. So I was not exactly above the trees, but uh, the second option is working fine. So I hope I won't touch the uh, the trees. No, unfortunately. So I had to increase probably the the radius. Yes. working fine can I change the I can press pause and can I change the height the uh, the radius why uh, why flying seems, seems not What's a pity? Okay, I will stop the um, this uh, flight mode. Twenty percent, and let's check one more time that they fix uh, this fast flying uh, problem. So I will pitch up a little bit the gimbal. Oh. Let's see fast forward. Okay, and and fast U turn. Ah, no, it's better. Okay, as soon as you keep the forward stick engaged at full speed, now no more loss of altitude. But I will release the fast the forward stick and you gain a little bit. So, yeah, it's not so bad. Let's see, maybe a little bit lower. Okay, something about three meters. Let's see that. Fast forward and let's turn. Yes. Some that uh, now I'm flying slower in the in the battery level. Yes. So you, okay. 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 It's engaging. I will cancel. Okay. And I will go down now. I will land by myself. Oh, the flight time is not good. Maybe I didn't charge very well the battery. Nineteen percent. Let's check the stability. Ninety percent. Oh, still have some remaining. So that you can see the uh, variation. Wow.
Look at that. Small, small, small circle described a little bit, but not so, so bad. Okay. I will land now. Here sounds to be a correct location. We stop recording. And I will stop also on the recording on my video screen. Uh, so, what about this new firmware? Did they improve? A uh, little bit the um, uh, fast forward, uh, fast u turn, uh, loss of altitude? Yes. Is it more accurate in terms of GPS uh, holding? No. Uh, it's okay, acceptable. Uh, they improve a little bit also the way to um, at least to choose your favorite and the best uh, 5.8 GHz Wi Fi channel in order to minimize the interferences as you so Maybe I can show you maybe here. I will try to relaunch the recording. I will show you. Um, so I will show you that now it's possible to where is it exactly? Blah blah blah. Wi-Fi channel settings, and as you will see in a couple of seconds, uh, you will have all the um, uh, Wi-Fi uh, noise signal in all the uh, available channel for me from 36 to 165. And after a couple of seconds, you will see that the uh, estimation of the uh, RSSI inside each channel will be done. Actually, it sounds. It seems that uh, I've got, I use my current channel is the most um, is the most noisy, but it's not true because it didn't yet perform uh, the computation of the RSSI on each uh, channel. So uh, it should be done in a couple of seconds. But uh, in any case, uh, you will be able to, for example, to select, for example, from the, this one you have to click here. For example, I don't know exactly. Uh, and uh, if you apply, uh, even after rebooting, it will uh, keep this setting, so be aware uh, to do that. But you have now a monitor uh, tool to uh, check what is the less noisy channel. So that's a good adding from Epson. Um, the pinch uh, tilting si uh, speed now it can be tuned and have been reduced, so that's a good thing. The control a little bit more smoother that's a good point uh, and uh, definitely uh, this machine uh, need to have a better and more professional uh, charger so I strongly advise to one more time to uh, mod um, a 3s balancer plug uh, with um, some leading cable okay in order to use a more professional uh, lipo high volt uh, charger okay and you will be able to balance better uh, each uh, of the three cells inside the battery so uh, Epson did some improvements I feel I felt a little bit more confident even when you saw when I reached uh, the one kilometer of distance uh, during two minutes uh, I was not able to run the return to home or I lost the signal, I press uh, first the radio transmitter, nothing happened, I don't know why. Uh, but in any case, it should engage the return to home uh, when the radio transmitter signal has been engaged. So uh, maybe there is, um, um, there was still a contact and I didn't press correctly the return to home button. I hold it during three seconds. Uh, maybe the first time I was not uh, long enough. Maybe I don't know. So at least he engaged it and uh, I retrieve it. So I exceed what kilometers as you saw one kilometer 50 meters. So maybe with some uh, better channel Wi-Fi optimization we can uh, exceed this value uh, of course with some windsurf uh, uh, Tools we can also extend the range probably that's a good news Maybe they remove the limitation on the one kilometer from the last firmware Okay, so I hope you enjoy this new uh, dedicated Epson videos. If you like it, please submit. If you are not really subscribed, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.